A Cherokee County man is recovering in a Tulsa hospital tonight after spending five days lost in a rural area near Woodall. Doctors tell us Dino Hamilton had only hours to live when volunteers with Bridging the Gap found him yesterday. Two Works for you reporter Casey Roebuck joins us with a look at the emotional meeting between Hamilton's rescuers and his girlfriend. Casey. Well, Karen, Bridging the Gap was created just months ago when the search teams who looked for Cody Perrick and Ben Baber wanted to continue their efforts after the young men's bodies were found. Since May, they've recovered the bodies of two missing men. They say finding Dino Hamilton alive was just a big a gift for them as it was to Dino's family. Dino Hamilton was last known to be in an area near Woodall Tuesday night. But after a day of unreturned phone calls and texts, a weak and scared Dino called his girlfriend Teresa walkabout Wednesday afternoon, saying he was lost and thirsty. He wanted me to find him, and he's hurting. It was the last phone call he would make before losing his phone. Teresa reported him missing Thursday, but searches by first responders turned up nothing. On Sunday, Bridging the Gap organized its own search. Terry Graves says within minutes of sending a four-wheeler out to search an area near a pond, a dehydrated and disoriented Dino Hamilton followed the sound of the four-wheeler right to the search crew. The strength that he has, he was my hero for the weekend. I'll tell you that. I don't see how he made it that long in that heat like that. And I couldn't imagine how lonely he was and scared either. Dino was flown to a Tulsa hospital to be treated for heat exhaustion, scrapes, tick bites, and kidney failure. I asked him, how'd you hold on so long? He said, my boys. All I kept thinking is I gotta live for my boys. It was outside the hospital where Teresa got to thank Dino's rescuers in person. You guys are my heroes. Oh, I love you. I love you too. I love you. Thank you so much. Anything, anything. You're now family. Yes. <laughs> you're oh, hi, your way. <laughs> It's a win for a group that had discovered the bodies of two missing men in recent weeks. I told him, I said, you gave us new energy yes. that we didn't have. We were wearing down. And Bridging the Gap volunteers say they are proud of the legacy they created for Cody and Ben. If you want to know more about how to support this organization, you can find it all on KGRH.com. In the newsroom, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you. Good to hear that success story. Thank you, Casey.